It's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles channel and a very big thanks to each and every one of you that have subscribed to this channel ever since it started now it's been going for like five years now so um, thank you to all of you who have encouraged this channel to grow and I'm hoping in 2015 it can double and triple and we can get as much um, people spreading the message as possible um, and that's what it's all about just spreading the message and you know making people feel accepted no matter what they're doing in their life so what I'm going to be talking about obviously is the guidance uh, for 2015 and this is not in any way going to predict exactness of events it's not one of those kind of fortune telling type of um, videos I don't really know how people can do that but anyway um, what it's going to be is what I intuitively feel for the year ahead and generally whatever I'm feeling other people are feeling as well and you may have your own things that are going on in your life um, and please just go with the flow of events and what you feel is right for yourself. Now I'm going to be breaking this down in a little bit of a different way. Um, I've, I sort of spent all day yesterday um, just writing things and just going with my intuition and trying to get a flow and a feeling for 2015 because as we know 2014 was so fast it was so hectic there was things going on all the time people were you know right up and down in their emotions and you know things were happening and it was just well it just wasn't a very good year for so many people but this year there is a big change so we've had last year to sort of build ourselves up and release a whole lot of crap and get ourselves ready for what we really want and I feel that because 2015 is an eight year it's in the uh, in other words infinity and infinity is never ending it's limitless we know that that is what this year is bringing for the most part into each one of our lives if we want to accept that into our lives so this year this year coming up 2015 can be uh, whatever you want it to be however whatever is most predominantly on your mind is what is going to come about so I have gone through just some different things that I might have thought that might be interesting for you all I'm still going to be doing the monthly guidance so January February right through the year but I'll be doing that in a different way as well what I'm trying to do is bring you guys a lot more um, videos for 2015, a lot more teaching videos, different videos on different subjects and little little surprises thrown in there for you all as well. Um, and so sometimes doing the monthly uh, reading like for you all and going through so many different things every single month is, is just getting a bit hard. So I'm, I'm still going to be doing it but I'm just going to be doing it a bit differently. Same with the 2015 guidance. And as you all know, I have a lot of things to say mostly, so this video will go as long as it needs to go to make sure that I've finished talking about everything that I needed to say. <laughs> it's just how it is. And I'll do um, some little card readings in there as well for you all. So what we've got is the year of the goat or the year of the sheep in Chinese um, astrology as well. and the, the, what I'm feeling is peace and harmony and this sense of easy like everything just taking a step back for a minute and like it's just a chilling out time in 2015 and it's bringing in this mood of peace and tranquility everywhere we go we're just going to find that we're not we're not as worked up as we have been in the past which is fantastic because we're learning to win over negativity we're learning how to change the way that we think which changes our reality and we're doing this more and more and more and more and more and growing and changing and growing and changing and we've been getting used to manifesting things with our thoughts and this is continuing we have brought in this beautiful peaceful light 
into 2015. I feel it's going to be so, so much better than what we've experienced before. In fact, even in the last 10 years or so, I feel that this is going to be the year to change everything if you are open and willing and accepting of those changes in your life. And of course there's going to be things that are going to shake up around the globe. It's just going to be happening. You know, there's going to be all kinds of things that we see and we start to get disheartened about and we get upset about and we are affected by things in certain ways. That is still going to happen. However, what I'm feeling is there is a difference in how we cope with things and there is a difference with how we perceive things in our life. Whereas before we would have gone, oh my God, and started worrying and started stressing out and freaking out about how we could possibly change the events that had happened, you know, how we could possibly do something about it. Whereas now we'll go, no, you know what, this is happening for a reason and you know, although it's not very nice, I'm not going to get myself attached to the whole situation or feel responsible for all the outcomes of everything all the time. So this is all leaving us because we want a world where there's peace, right? And so it has to begin within ourselves. It just has to begin there. And that is, the, that is how it spreads. Not by what you're saying, but what you're doing and how you live your life. So. I've got some notes of course like always and I've also got a very special message right at the end of this video today so uh, <clears throat> it is an eight year as we said so no matter which way we look at it it adds up to eight so if we add 20 and 15 it adds up to 35 and we add 3 plus 5 and that equals 8 and then if we add a 2 um, plus 0 plus 1 plus 5 it equals 8 so it, it, it adds up into an eight numerologically, numerolo trying to say that fast. So as we know, the, the limitness of infinity, the infinity sign, it's the eight on its side. And we think of infinity, which is never ending, it's eternal. And there was a little bit, it was a Greek word that means uh, apiron. Um, so that was in... Um, 490 BC they came up with this concept of infinity and even before that it's been around as well um, and it does mean infinite or limitless and then John Wallace in 1650 um, started using you know started that great mathematician he started coming up with this concept of infinity in mathematical sense um, <clears throat> it does go back way before Christ and all that as well so you are in control how you see this sign so as with the, if you think of the number eight and it's on its side, you know, it needs to still be in balance. You know, it can easily topple over one way or the other. We need to still keep things um, in balance and this, this is up to you. The other thing was the spider. So obviously the spider being the arachnid or anthropod or something like, not anthropod, some other name actually spiders are called. And I wish I'd looked it up properly before I just said that. But um, I have seen so many spiders, no, not just seen them, but come in very close proximity with these friggin' spiders. And two of the spiders were um, very dangerous spiders here in Australia. So I just finished doing, um, for example, I just want to tell you about this because it's freaky. And now I know why this has happened, but I just finished doing my workout. So I'm on my workout mat on the floor in my lounge room. And I was just watching the rest of the, you know, the ads or whatever that was going on after I'd finished my workout. And I happened to catch out of the corner of my eye something moving towards me. Generally, it might be a fly or something like that. Oh, no. It was this big, massive, white-tipped spider or white-tailed spider. Now, you can look that up and see how hideous they are. Some people have had terrible reactions to their venom. Um, and so it was coming towards me, so I scooted that one off outside. Then later on that night, I'm sitting on the couch to watch television. Right next to me, it starts. one starts crawling across the couch, like right next to me. And another white tip, and I'm like, honest to God, this, that's crazy. And then, then the next morning, one just pulled itself right down in front of me, a big spider. <laughs> It was like an orb weaver, but it wasn't. It was something big like that, though, and it came right down in front of me. Later on that afternoon, there was two orb weavers, and they were right in the pathway to my washing line. 
Um, so I got a big stick and moved them across into the bushes. <laughs> like I, I try not to kill anything, I just try to move it along. And then that following evening, there was two more black spiders in my couch again, right? So I had all these spiders, right? And honestly, like you, you start thinking, okay, um, it's creativity, it's good luck, it's nice. Oh, the other thing was one landed on my hand as well when I went to do the dishes, honest to God. So um, you think of all these things, creative expression and all of that kind of stuff. You think of mothering because the, apparently the females are the ones that build webs and all that kind of stuff. So you think of the female, the nurturing and all this kind of thing as well. But it also talks about storytelling. And I wish I'd brought my book out um, with me. I started writing... A little offshoot I've been writing well I've already written a book and I've written actually three books but I started writing just my memories of childhood memories so this is going to go right up until today so I guess it's, it's going to keep going for a while this book but funnily enough I'd started writing this and then when these spiders and all this started happening and I started looking up into different superstitions and omens and all that kind of stuff. One of the things was that it was talking about storytelling. So creative storytelling. So, you know, it was funny because that's what I was doing. So it was telling me to continue writing this particular book. Now, this particular book is going to be brutal, okay? This particular book is not all nice at all. This is all to do with my my life and the things that brought me to, to being the person that I am today. And it's 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 horrible. Okay, for the most part, it's horrible. So um, a lot of things have been shut down, and you know I've put walls up in my own life. Um, and so now is the time that I need to really lift those walls up and face those things. So. It's telling us this number eight, this connection with spiders, this um, this year, this whole year of eight to me felt it all felt relevant anyway. That it's time to tell our story. It's time to um, open up all of those past wounds that we've had and really start to nut things out because we're going to be able to do it from such a place of peacefulness within ourselves instead of a place of anger and you know blame and guilt and all those kinds of things we know we're going to be able to look at it peacefully and with detachment um, and with pride in ourselves with how far we've actually come in the things that we've been doing in our life now I know that you may not think that you've come very far at all in fact a lot of people think oh I'm just going backwards you know nothing's really happening to me but you've come a long way in the fact that before you started looking at spiritual videos and looking things up on the web and all that kind of stuff, you know, you were kind of lost. Now you've found a way which in which you can get out of all of that mess. You may not always do it. <laughs> you may not always listen to your intuition, but you're going to find this way out and you found the answer. Okay, listening to these kind of videos, you have found the answer to getting out. All right. So this year, power, our manifestation abilities, our creative abilities, our storytelling abilities, our um, a way of dealing and healing with the past really is going to start keep smacking us in the face until we do something about it. Each and every one of us have got a story to tell. And your, your story may not be all nasty and gross and all that kind of stuff. But it's still your story and I encourage each one of you to keep a blog or keep a diary um, of your events and how you feel you've come to the place where you are in your life now. Because there will be things in there that you've totally forgotten about. I can guarantee it. And those things have shaped you, you know, twisted and changed and chiseled you out to be who you are today. So... Here we've got the all the eights, the year of the sheep, and the infinity, no limits, okay, no limits on what we can do, and a feeling of peace for getting this story and getting our creativity out there. So the other thing that I wanted to talk was some of the star spirits that have been around for, for centuries and eons. I felt this light coming across um, the... Um, Earth, you know, this light's been building for quite a while now, but some of the star spirits um, are the 
the seven star spirits which are like the seven sisters and that goes back to the jade emperor where he had seven daughters and uh, one of the daughters well this was you know um, they were supposed to be galactic daughters but anyway uh, one of the daughters fell in love with somebody and uh, had children but apparently um, the father threw her back into the heavens or something because they you know kept them apart but they were only allowed to get back together once a year so um, the seven sisters, uh, the Pleiades, all of these things are connected and um, you know just talking about um, the, the different spirits in the sky that are still working with us on the other side of the veil, the angels of course. Um, there is Lumiel, the angel of, um, he's one of the angels of miracles and Hamiad is also known as the angel of miracles and there's a gr they're, they're beautiful in white and gold in appearance and uh, they're working very very closely with us bringing in this energy of illumination and um, you know uh, intuition and knowledge and all of these things are sitting there with us we also have uh, Danichi which is the spreader of light in all directions and that is a uh, Buddha known as the great illuminator and I'm going to try and say the name Mahavarokana, Mahavarokana, <laughs> um, the Japanese name for the great sun Buddha, lord of the cosmos, obviously in the Buddhist tradition. His hair sits in a top knot and he sits in the lotus position and his hand uh, forms the gesture of knowledge to all and that is just the, he's grasping um, his finger like that so that's sitting in his lap. Um, then he has like a, one of his attributes is the medicine jar and um, that is showing you the healing potential that he has to work with you and uh, he's in the southwest position um, and as we know Buddha is a title for one who has uh, reached enlightenment um, and he um, for this particular Buddha people do rituals and they do give offerings of rice and white flowers and yellow flowers um, and it's almost like they are uh, making a spiritual petition. Like if I give you this, you know, then I'm accepting of um, whatever's coming my way. So the statue in itself doesn't have any power, but the, the intention of giving and receiving has the power. So this particular Buddha um, was also working, um, you know, with us energetically in giving and receiving and remembering this knowledge that we have within ourselves, which I thought was beautiful. And uh, miracles happen. The message that I got was miracles happen when the intention is pure, and that is what um, all this energy is coming through. So, for this entire year. Okay, there's going to be, like I said, um, you know, challenges and things happening, um, craziness going on on the news, um, more aeroplane drama, all of that kind of stuff happening. But we're going to get to the bottom of what this is really doing because it feels to me like we're being distracted from the bigger picture. Not that I want to get into that too much because then I'll go right off track. But it feels to me that the more that we're watching these programs, the more that we're, get, we're, we're getting ourselves involved in that, is the more we're being distracted from what's really going on. So stay within yourself. Turn that television off. Don't even look at it, you know. If you need to uh, watch the news, I'm sure as soon as you log into your email, you're going to see all the latest news anyway. You don't need to keep on keeping it in your face. I just... I mean, I haven't watched TV for years. If I want to watch something, I'll, I'll go and hire a movie or something, you know. Um, but I don't sit there watching the news and then I'm not affected by it. I used to get really wound up about it, but not anymore. So, what I'm going to do is I um, am going to um, shuffle some of my uh, Domino Angels cards. Now, I want you guys to know that I'm working out a a bit of a course to do with my angelic guidance book so here's my um, angelic guidance book so I'm going to work out a course where this will be kind of like um, our reference guide and also using the domino angels cards um, and you'll get a manual and all that kind of thing now I want to do this course in person with you all 
but my husband is encouraging me to um, make something that is available worldwide online so please be patient with me as I'm coming up with these ideas and I'm traveling at the same time but I wanted to do let's have a little bit of an overview of January to March um, so January February March April May June um, July August September October November December so we're just going to do in groups of three I'm going to do a Domino Angels um, card and just one card for the three um, months because I'm going to be breaking them down anyway and uh, let's just see what comes up here okay so close my eyes okay so for January February March and we've got Archangel Metatron the number three Okay, so working with us, increasing our time with children and beginnings, births and pregnancy, um, you're fertile now, so time of giving to others as well, um, t children, teenagers going through rough patches, many doors are open to you, but if you hesitate, you may miss things. So there's a lot of opportunities. And this was also another message that came um, through to me. I'm like, what's going to happen with the new, it's the year of opportunity, okay? If you are open to it and and uh, willing to receive, it's the year of opportunity. Archangel Metatron also works with us on our past lives. Not only our past lives, but our past memories. Isn't that funny? So another hint for us to be talking, um, you know, writing down our thoughts and feelings. Writing is so very therapeutic. If you go to a good therapist, they will tell you to write down your thoughts and feelings before you come back to the next um, appointment. But Archangel Metatron can help you. Now, when I say to ask Archangel Metatron, it simply means that. It says, look, I would, you know, you're just talking like you're talking to anyone else. Look, angels, I'm really looking for Archangel Metatron because I know that he is the one that helps me with past lives. He can help me with my own past. I want to write all of this stuff out. I want to have a real cleansing and I want to find pieces of the puzzle. And I really want to set myself right for the future. So can Archangel Metatron just help me right now? Thanks so much for being there for me. I really appreciate it. And away you go. You don't have to have anything specific other than you're just talking to them like that. You know, it doesn't matter how you talk to them. They are going to be with you anyway because it's all energy, okay? So you're attracting the energy of, um, of that you know, Archangel Metatron. You're attracting that energy and all his attributes towards you. And then you can just trust that things will start to unfold. So there we go, January, February, March. Gracefulness, telepathy, working out issues, um, finding, th finding your placing in this uh, 2015, you know, working yourself out, easing yourself into it. So January, February, March, April, May, and June, let's go. And Archangel Michael steps up. All right, so April, May, June, just being a little bit careful that you're not bringing legal attention um, towards yourself. Um, there may be extra police out and about. Be sure that you're watching things, you know, taking it easy, just taking it easy, being cautious, being aware, um, watching out, and, uh, you know, you don't want to bring anything um, any unwanted attention towards yourself. The other message here is you've been in, if you have been in legal entanglements, you know, need, you need to ask him to help you to be there. Because I know when I was going through so many years of being to court, I would forget, you know, and then I would be all stressed out when I would go to court. But when you are asking them to be there, you're asking them to be present with everybody that's in the room, and in fact, clearing this room of negativity so that the truth prevails it makes so much difference to what's going on and what you're trying to achieve just ask them to be there in your life um, and Archangel Michael is just saying look I'm always with you I'm always protecting you and although there's going to be things that are a little bit turbulent in your life it doesn't mean that you've been abandoned it, it's never meaning that it's meaning that it's coming up in your life to teach you something that perhaps in 10 years time you will realize what that lesson was. You're not going to realize what it is at first. You're just going to be annoyed, all right? But in 10 years time, you're going to be like, now I know, okay, I get it, all right? So Archangel Michael with you, 
we may need the extra strength April, May and June. Alright, July, August, September. Now August being the 8th month in our 8th year. Woo! And my son is the 8th of the 8th. So he's going to be the 8th of the 8th um, in the 8th year. It's going to be crazy for this guy if he actually gets off his um, butt from playing games and actually does something. <laughs> That's kids, isn't it? Okay, July, August, September. Uh, let me see. Okay, here we go, Raziel, Archangel Raziel. Um, unfolding of secrets and puzzles of the family. Overdue explaining is done. You may even find something that's missing a long time. Decluttering the home. So, okay, we're going to be doing spring cleaning, school, after school stuff. Um, pick up any uh, coins you find on your travels for extra good luck. Make plans for the holiday. Plenty of excitement abounds. Thank you, Archangel Raziel. Light dark green or white candle to connect with Raziel. And, you know, success comes through when your life is changing, okay? And things are unfolding and you're working out pieces of a puzzle. It's been very important that you do that anyway. And um, secrets of the family and whatever. You know, there's going to be a lot of stuff in your family that you don't like. Um, and there's going to be a lot of people in your family that you don't really get along with and you never really understood them. And this will be the time when you do and you work things out. And also perhaps you've been doing ancestry or something like that and you can start seeing some pictures that other people have posted and you know, you really start to come into this uh, way of knowing how you got here and um, you know why you've been the way that you've been and perhaps there's things that have passed down to you but you must know that you are in control of your future you are in control of everything that is happening in your life and it's your perspective and your intention that matters the most so creative energy needing an outlet is another thing so there just needs to be this burst that you get out, whether it's drawing or, or even writing, um, creating things, doing some sewing, whatever it is, you need to get that out because it gives you more ideas. So, now let me see. Uh, the um, October, November, December of next year, you know, it'll be, it'll come up again pretty quickly next year. Even though it's going to be a peaceful and easy year, it's still going to be quite a fast year. Okay, October, November, December. And we've got Raziel again. Whew. Okay, he's powerful. We're talking about deep wisdom here. So he's inspiring you to put into action ideas that you have. Don't let someone else get the credit for your idea. All right? I know other people have done that to me. Any creative pursuit that you've been putting off is actually going to do very well and bring in the money that you need. Don't delay whatever the creative impulse is. Put it to work for you. Somebody may also inspire you to make life changes that benefit many. Raise your brings ancient wisdom again. Get things organized and let stuff go. Travel, allow yourself to have some fun and be understanding of other people as well it was the message that I got through. So 2015. It is going to be a much, much better year, I feel, to the relief of everyone's taking a big sigh. Oh, thank God. And it's just going to be, it's still going to be faster pace, okay? We're, we're just going to see time going faster now. It's just how things are. But as I said before, you are going to just have this difference about you, this, this different feeling within you that you can cope with things and that you can deal with things. There's still a lot of resistance in a lot of you that are listening to stepping up into your spiritual path or your true path that you want to take there's still this resistance there there's still fears of failure some of you even have fears of success because then what are you going to do if you're really suddenly famous all of a sudden right um, but a lot of this needs to be really analyzed because it doesn't matter how you start what matters is that you start. You're never going to have all of the, um, what's the word, 
practice or preparation that you need. In other words, there's no perfect time to begin anything. You may think once you've done this, 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 this and this, then you will be ready to go. And it's just not the case. You have to do things now and then let things unfold. And a lot of people are still still procrastinating. So this is your year of opportunity. If you get started this year, you are going to find things a lot easier than had you have started it last year, okay? But this year, you're just unfolding, 2015, unfolding, allowing yourself escape, not being so hard on yourself. The perspective changes to each, everything that you're doing as well. What's also important is aromatherapy and using oils and using your crystals as well. And I did have some crystals that I put aside. Um, what are we going to have? But what's most important is that you dedicate your crystals. So for example, I'm just getting a crystal. Here is a raw piece of um, red jasper. Okay. And red jasper is really good for grounding you and getting and also giving you creative fire and inspiration. So that, that's another good one that we could use. So in order, um, what you could do is, no matter what crystal that you've got, you could even have um, a big piece of petrified wood like this, or um, you could just have, oh, sorry, you could just have a... Uh, this is like a piece of um, agate or anything, any crystal that you've got, um, you can, you need to dedicate those crystals. So for example, this one I might say is going to be my abundance crystal. Okay. So I want it to radiate abundance all the time. So I'm going to say abundance, abundance, abundance to it. When you say something three times, you are enchanting it. Okay. In other words, it creates magic. And I believe in that, all right? I've seen those kinds of things happen. So you're enchanting it and your intention is abundance. So when I'm using this crystal, when I'm holding this crystal, I'm bringing abundance towards me. So for something like this, you might say, uh, study, easy study, I can study easily. You're talking to it, you're dedicating that crystal to what you want it to do. So it doesn't matter, oh, wow, that's really buzzing now. It doesn't matter what what it is that you want to do you don't have to have the right things the right crystal you just got to lay the intention on things it makes miracles happen that's what this year is all about it's just learning that okay so uh, also with essential oils if any of you all are interested um, I do the Larev and I am a um, consultant for Larev and the beautiful thing about Larev is that it's all TGA approved Therapeutic Goods Administration approved, which is very, very hard to get, and that's in Australia, which means there's no nasties in our oils. And also the book gives us, like our little book, gives us like um, different recipes that we can use with the oils um, to change. So um, anxiety, for appetite loss, arthritis, backache, all kinds of things. The little book that we got here, and this comes for nothing, you just get one off of me, um, gives you little recipes that you can use and oh my god it changes changes everything the uh, ones that I'm going to be using for the oils that I want to be using for the new year are going to be florally type of things so um, geranium and rose but I'm also going to add in um, orange and lemon and bergamot in there and when I'm burning um, my um, burner like oil burner or I'm rubbing them on my skin it's just bringing that beautiful upliftment and that beautiful peace and also if you are uh, a lighting incense you're the sort of person that likes to light incense if you rub um, essential oils in onto the incense it really enchants uh, what you're doing and also onto your candles so you know by rubbing these beautiful essential oils into the candles you are putting in an intention of love and light prosperity abundance whatever it is that you're doing and it's very very powerful to do that um, so you can see me and I can come to your house and do a party for you that will take about an hour of the most fun you've ever had in your life and show you how to use these things properly um, and also a lot of people get um, have a healing out of it too and I can offer the healing side of things for free 
So anything that you need to know about me is always going to be in the links below and where to find me and all of those things as well. Um, this year, 2015, I am going to be traveling again throughout Australia and I'm going to be doing my best to come to the USA, Canada and the UK, perhaps towards the end of 2015. Um, and into 2016 it's going to be more of a priority for me but at the moment I need to see the people in my own country that have been waiting to see me and um, I'm really really looking forward to whatever is going to be taking place I am not going to sit there and try to, to delve too much into the future of things because I feel that that makes us anxious you know and we can't control it anyway all we can do is control ourselves and how we're feeling um, about ourselves and where we're at in our life and also making sure we have a lot of fun and letting our hair down and not restricting ourselves in any way no limits okay so this year is all about being free being limitless and the energy and you know of that feeling comes from you and goes out to those people that you meet and people will say Hey, how come you're so positive all the time? You know, why are you just always so happy? And it's like, well, that's how I want to be. And that's who I want to be around is people that aren't complaining every five minutes and people that are happy as well, you know, and you're going to find that, that you want that more. That's more of a priority to you than what everyone else is doing and worrying about everybody else. It's more you having fun and enjoying yourself and being you know attractive to those people who are doing the same and that is what it's all about before i forget and i did forget and i said goodbye to you all um but uh there is a message from da 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 da, -da. Uh, my my main spirit guide is jesus jeshua or lord sendana whatever you want to call uh, Sananda, sorry, uh, whatever you want to call him, I, I call him Jesus, and he has given a message for 2015. I can't believe I didn't put it in the last bit, but I will try to edit this in there for you guys. All right, and this I've channeled this message. Okay, so this is the message that he gave for each one of us, and it is, dearest ones, with love from the spiritual realms that surround you always. Each one of you are forever surrounded with love and understanding and this will never change. As you open your hearts more completely in the new year, a lot of healing and hidden knowledge will begin to unfold for you. Each one of you have been preparing a long time for advancement in your life and your wait will be over in 2015 provided you hold acceptance of this. Your acceptance of goodness is all it takes. You may still doubt your worthiness, but with acceptance of our unconditional love, this feeling will fade from you. Although there will be shake-ups on the land and changes in many areas, the concern needs to leave you. Remember that fear grows as love does, so try not to buy into the fear tactics of those who are losing their power. Remain focused and strong in who you are and how you wish your world to be. Take a deserved break from now on and ease into your new life. You are loved beyond measure and treasured eternally by your support team connected by source. Never forget your true heritage and see how your life reflects this. With eternal love and gratitude, Jesus. So I hope that that was uh, helpful to you um, for the beautiful message for the year 2015 taking it easy, easing into our new life and remembering that doubt, we, we've got to stop doubting our worthiness and just accept that we are worthy of the best in life and watch our life start to unfold for us right before our eyes. Things will be changing and we are going to be growing and learning and shifting in those changes. So thanks for you hanging around all of this time so you could hear that beautiful message from Jesus and I wish you all the very best for the new year. And you'll be seeing a lot of me anyway. So until the next video, it's goodbye for now. Bye everyone.